morning. Last night I was like, I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna be like super energized for the last day of this video, like the last day before getting my blood drawn for the diabetes test and joke's on me. I had like the worst night's sleep. I woke up once to go pee, once because my nose was literally running and I couldn't make it stop. It's a pregnancy thing. And then two more times because my leg cramped up, also a pregnancy thing. And yeah, I just like did not have any energy waking up this morning and like getting started into my day. So um, I did have my two cups of coffee, made sure that only one of them had coconut milk in it. The other one was an Americano and then um, around 9, 9.30, Brian came in and said he was hungry, so we had breakfast then, which we had eggs with sriracha on top of it. Sriracha does have a little bit of sugar, but it's less than one gram, so I'm not that concerned about it right now. And then I had probably five half slices of bacon. And then, whew, sorry, it's really hot after working out. Um... And then I kind of like looked over some of my footage and had an electrolyte drink and then did this workout. I was almost contemplating not doing a workout, but I know how much it means to me. So I went with a Pilates exercise. I just kind of made it up as I went. Also doing some of, incorporating some of the things that I'm supposed to be doing to prepare for labor, like the cat-cow poses and those really, really deep squats that I've been showing you guys.
did that and now I'm just gonna get to work. I'll show you guys when I have lunch. And yeah, today is the last day before going in and getting my blood drawn. That happens tomorrow. I spent a lot of yesterday evening kind of just like calming myself down because I was thinking about it a little bit too much. But I definitely wanna show you guys what I have today and then for sure what I do tomorrow. <sighs> yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Oh my goodness, I was having some Braxton Hicks uh, in between having breakfast, so it kind of paused my breakfast. I ended up having some of the eggs a little cold. But yeah. Other than that, hoping that my energy kind of picks up after doing an exercise. Really, that's one of the biggest benefits of doing it, like being active is the, the kind of like energizing effect that working out gives you. So fingers crossed that will kick in in a little while. I'm gonna drink some water and get into my day. <laughs> I've had a really uh, rough day. I ended up biting down on a tooth that's cracked and it really flared up and I was pretty much out for the rest of the day. So this evening I am having the full container of this kettle and fire mushroom chicken bone broth. And then I may have a yogurt bowl after that. And, Cheers. And she's wondering why I put it in a bowl. Yeah, it's in a bowl. You guys drink your bone broth out of a bowl when it doesn't have anything in <laughs> it. I feel so weird. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, usually I drink it out of a coffee mug, but apparently I need to feel like I'm eating, so... So take a bite, tell the people how it tastes. A bite. Yeah, a bite, a slurp. A slurp. Hmm. Hmm, what? It's not that good. <laughs> Does that mean I make better bone broth? Yeah. Wheat. I mean, it doesn't have like a lot of salt in it either. Yeah. It's like, really plain. You can add whatever you want to it. Salt, pepper, hot sauce. Yeah. I'm gonna have to add something. That's, that does not taste very good. All right, I added a little bit of salt and some garlic powder and it definitely made it better, so. If you're getting this, you just need to season it a little bit unless you prefer to not have super extreme flavors, which some people do. I mean, if you like yourself bland. Yeah. There are some people that prefer more bland food. Yeah. 